Icebreaker, do you guys think it's possible to see the future? Do you think anyone's been able to know the future before? Uh, put your answers in the comments on wherever you're watching. This is related to the chapter we're studying this week, Mark chapter 13, where Jesus predicts the destruction of the temple, which is actually a huge chapter if you're trying to decide when you think the books in the New Testament were written, which is a big deal. You know, some people believe they were written late in history and had become a legend. Some believe they were written pretty close after Jesus' death. And this chapter, believe it or not, as I investigated this, is actually one of the reasons that some scholars date it late. For the book of Mark, there's a pretty big range of when scholars think it was written. Some think it was written in 35 AD. Jesus is thought to have died either in 30 or 33 AD. So, you know, within two years, it's possible that the book of Mark was written and circulating. Well, some people believe it was written after 70 AD, after the temple in Jerusalem was destroyed. That's almost 40 years later, so that makes people a lot more uncomfortable. They start to wonder, can I actually trust the book of Mark? I don't know, you know, and it's also thought to be the earliest gospel. So if you date the book of Mark after 70 AD, then you're starting to date the other books of the Gospels about Jesus' life late. And if they're 40, 50, 60 years later after the events, then people start to worry about whether or not they can trust them. Well, this conversation might make you feel a little bit better, because as I investigated this, I found one of the reasons that the scholars date this book late. Like, the main reason. So, it might make you feel a little bit better to think Britannica Encyclopedia actually dates the book of Mark in the 60s. There's an atheist scholar, James G. Crossley. He wrote a whole book. Let me see if I can look up what it's called. But in his investigation, he thinks Mark was written in 35 to 45 AD. The book is called The Date of Mark's Gospel, Insight from the Law and Earliest Christianity by James G. Crossley. That's important because that's an atheist who thinks this book was written early. So why does anybody think it was written late? The reason is, in Mark chapter 13, Jesus predicts that the temple in Jerusalem is going to be destroyed. And some scholars, such as Bart Ehrman, say that it's impossible for Jesus to have known this would happen and accurately predict it. Therefore, it must have been written after the fact, after the temple was destroyed in 70 AD. So that would make Mark being written at the earliest 70 AD, unless he can actually predict the future. And if you view Jesus as God, then that's a good possibility. Okay, so what's interesting about that late date is it actually causes some contradictions. For instance, Mark was used as a source for several books of the New Testament that every scholar agrees unanimously were written in the 50s or the 60s, such as 1 Timothy, Corinthians. So if you start trying to piece together which book quoted what and which manuscript might have been the original, you have to date the book of Mark in the 50s or before. So I made a little discussion guide that you can use to study this chapter, or you can use it with your small group or your friends. I actually get together at the Poor House in Wichita. It's a brewery downtown. We get together every Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. If you want to join us and talk about this chapter this week, we'll be upstairs at the Poor House, downtown Wichita, 7 p.m. Uh, if you're online or you're studying at home, go to breweryministries.org and click on free discussion guides, go to the blue path folder and look for the guide on Mark chapter 13, verses one through 13. Okay, so post your comments below. I'd be really interested to see what you think about this. Uh, what, what other questions do you have? Does this help you? Are you still uncomfortable? Do you still have some open questions? I love this kind of thing, so I'm very curious. And keep in mind, this chapter is also important because 
Jesus' claim about the temple is the thing that comes back when he's on trial and gets him killed. So very interesting. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this, and we'll talk to you soon.